Here are two trees. What is the fundamental difference between these two kinds of trees? Well, these two aren't similar trees because one of them is monocotyledonous and the other one is dicotyledonous. Let's look into the difference between the two. Flowering plants are classified into two types based on their seed leaf, which is called a cotyledon. A cotyledon or seed leaf is a significant part of an embryo within the seed of a plant and is described as the embryonic leaf in seed-bearing plants, one or more of which are the first to appear from a germinating seed. Plant species with only one cotyledon are known as monocotyledonous plants, or alternatively, monocots, while plants with two embryonic leaves are known as dicotyledonous plants, or alternatively, dicots. Cotyledons may be ephemeral, lasting only days after emergence, or persistent, enduring at least a year on the plant. The cotyledons contain the stored food reserves of the seed. As these reserves are used up, the cotyledons may turn green and begin photosynthesis, or may wither as the first true leaves take over food production for the seedling. Now, let's look at the characteristics of monocotyledonous and dicotyledonous plants and see how we can differentiate them. First, let's look at monocotyledonous plants. Monocotyledonous plants have one cotyledon in their seed, hence the name. Flowers are trimerous, meaning that their floral parts or petals are in multiples of three. Monocots have a parallel arrangement of major leaf veins. Leaves are long and narrow, as you can see here. Palm trees, sugarcane, banana or coconut trees, and even grass. Monocots have one pore in their pollen, and it has a scattered arrangement of vascular bundles in the stem. Monocots do not have secondary growth. Now, let's move on to dicots and see their characteristics. Dicotyledonous plants have two cotyledons in the seed. Their flowers are tetramerous or pentamerous, meaning that their floral parts or petals are either in multiples of four or five. Dicots have reticulate arrangement of major leaf veins. They have three pores in their pollen and their arrangement of vascular bundles in the stem resembles concentric circles. Dicots most likely do have secondary growth, although there are a few exceptions. Lastly, a question to you all. Between monocots and dicots, which one do you think is more common on this planet? Make sure to leave your answers in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Love you. I'm Ritha.